Luke, let's talk about your new signing then. Um, Connor Lemon Havens, not fans, very excited about this when the news has come out today. How excited are you by the signing? I think it's a brilliant, brilliant signing. I'm really happy that we, we got him here. He's a player of real quality. He's a, he's a guy of, of strong personality, goal scorer, creator, and uh, he's tough, you know, so a lot to like. Gives you a lot of options in that attacking sort of area, doesn't it now? Yeah, there's a lot of options there. And, uh, you know, I think that you have to, you have to use a, a lot of energy. It's very intense to play in those, uh, in any of the positions, but, you know, particularly when you have to make these explosive press and explosive actions to, you know, to try to break forward and to arrive in the box. So we need people to be ready, fresh, and, um, you know, obviously I, I rotate the, the squad a fair bit. So we need that, you know, we need that every um, bit of uh, quality and firepower that we can, we, can, we can get if it's the right, you know, if it's the perfect fit. It's interesting you use the word rotate. I was going to ask you about that, whether you see that happening over the coming weeks now that you've got a number of, of options for that. Is that how you envisage it working? Chopping, changing and, and having, I suppose, a freshness to bring off the bench for the last half an hour when someone's exerted themselves for 60 minutes, say, it gives you a bit of freshness at the end. Do you see that happening a lot for the remainder of the season? Yeah, I do. And I, I think that, you know, we, we start to play less regular from from, from next month and we, we start to play more weekend to weekend. Um but then the guys have a chance in training, you know, because in the middle of the week when we when we train really, when we ramp up after the games, you know, we, we slow down, recover, and then we ramp up in the middle of the week and have a chance then to compete against each other and to show how ready they are. And uh, we change a little bit of positions in training so I can see which guys are like, you know, doing, doing really well in a certain position. And so they have a chance to show how ready they are, how much they... They want to play in the next game and what qualities they have to bring to the team. And, um, you know, that that's healthy, you know, that healthy competition for the guys uh, from, yeah, from as of next week, we replace the midweek game with, with training. There's, um, there's a very obvious personal motivation to the players that you bring in as well. You think of John Bostock, who's been desperate to kind of get his, his fitness back up and Jody Jones, who's been desperate for that. And you look at Connor as well, who's stepped up and then, only started, I think, once, but not come off the bench, desperate to be playing games. How important is that for you, having that quite clear personal motivation players desperate to be out on the pitch and playing as many minutes as possible? Yeah, that, that's everything. You know, we we have to have um, we have to have a group of players on the pitch that will will give everything because we know that um, everyone wants to beat everyone. But of course, when when you play against Notts County, you you up your game and you try that bit hard. That's just natural, you know. That's just completely natural. And so we have to be ready for everybody's A game. We have to have everybody on the pitch really determined to to be out there and sacrifice everything for the team. And then we have a chance to to keep going and keep trying to win games of football. How much has it helped you having the, the new signings you've had already and now adding another one in? How much does it help you midway through a season, freshening it up in that way? Yeah, I think it's helped hugely. I think that the players that are already in the squad, when a new player comes in, they want to show that player how good they are. They know there's more competition, so they sharpen their focus a little bit and uh, training steps up a notch. And uh, that, that can only be good. But it's, a, it's very much about bringing in the right people. And I think uh, that's that's what's been really encouraging is really good quality players coming in with really good people behind that quality and that that's really crucial yeah you are making a habit of signing players you've scored hat tricks against Notts County in the past as well aren't you with, with Jody Jones as well uh, but he he's somebody who knows a couple of the Notts players as well doesn't he of course Carl Cameron Aaron a man who you uh, knows from Torquay yeah he does and and uh, you know that that Torquay side that was put together was very very strong as we know and um, so we, we the club hadn't a chance to see those players playing in this level, you know, um, very very effectively. And then of course with Connery, went on then and done extremely well with Stockport as well. So, you know, the club have had a really good chance to look at him playing at, at this level and performing to a very high standard. So, it's great, you know, all, all those guys have got previous experience playing in in the national league and doing really really well. So, you can understand how that that relates to favourably. 
for the recruitment process. It must be difficult for him to, when he arrives at a club to to think how he's going to get into that side. It's a lovely problem for you to have, you know, a team who've scored four goals in each of the last three matches, and and he's you've got a new player trying to force his way in. I mean, how on earth do you decide what to do for a game? Well, like I this think this first weekend? of all, it's like credit to Connor because you know he he when when you have guys like that, they they look at it as an opportunity, not a threat. You know, and he, he's looked at it like, oh, well, I'm a good player, so I should go and play with the good players and. I'm a winner, so I want to try and win something. And um, you know, when you have that type of mentality, it doesn't it doesn't scare you coming in when a team are already playing well. You you look at it as like, okay, that that's going to suit my qualities. And so I think that's huge credit to to him for he you know totally backs himself that he'll get he knows he's going to get minutes, and then when he does, he'll he'll do very very well. So uh, no, I'm 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 really pleased that he looks at it that way. Yeah, best of luck there this weekend, Luke. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ah, Luke, just a couple of follow-up questions on Connor. Uh, so, you, when you've signed players this season, you've spoken um, a lot about personality, but something that we've seen from the players already um, at your disposal this season is the versatility. We've seen it with Jody Jones um, in recent weeks and then with Sam Austin at the end of the uh, game in midweek. So, how much do you value the appeal of vers- versatility uh, when you're signing players as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, really important. And, uh, like, Connor, Connor is upstairs now in the... Uh, unit meeting for the a group of players. Um, one of the players is presenting, and, and anyway, so, but he's there now to try to learn all the roles in the team, all the different roles in the team, so that if if we feel like the game requires him to play more left or more right or one higher or one deeper in the middle of the pitch or to be a striker because he has that as well. Um, we can hopefully try to give him the, the crucial information, like what that looks like. And um, you know, I know I know Connor. I was fortunate enough to work with him before, and I know he's uh, capable of playing in several positions because he applies himself correctly. He's bright, and um, you know, I saw his debut when he he played against uh, Premier League uh, Watford at the time, and he 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 was more than comfortable, and he held his own. He didn't. Didn't show any nerves and that. Um, so yeah, it's really important that that we have a group of players that are happy to play in different positions and apply themselves correctly. We just need to, as a group of staff, give them the right information. And then just on Connor, how is his um, fitness? Obviously, he's not played a lot this season. Uh, does this weekend perhaps come a little bit too soon for him, or can you see him, you know, potentially have some sort of involvement in the game? Yeah, we see because we have one more day um, to to prepare. Um, so we see where he is. Of course, we have to be be careful and be mindful that he didn't he didn't play too many minutes. And uh, the same as we've done, you know, with John and Jody, you have to be so careful because otherwise you're creating a you know a dangerous situation where you can lose a player for a period of time. We don't want that. But at the same time, we we need to try and get him on the pitch when we can. Uh, so we look tomorrow, see where where we think he is, and look at his data from training. Um, I just wanted to ask, how does this season's recruitment like rank when comparing to your previous? Because it seems that both Chris and Alex have really backed you and given you exactly what you wanted uh, when you've wanted it, whether it's in the window or afterwards. And you know, uh, at previous clubs you might not have been so fortunate. I just wanted to know, does that rank highly for you? Yeah, first of all, the most important thing to understand is that this is not about um, like in a traditional sense of the word, like backing me or giving me what I want. This is about what they want as well, if that makes sense. And this is a very new concept in, you know, I understand that for a lot of people, but believe me, I'm not, I'm not having to go to people in recruitment or to the owners and ask them, I want this and I want that far from it. They're, they're, they are that ambitious that they are telling me, like we have a player that we think is absolutely perfect for, for what we need. They watch every minute of, every game and see see how the players are performing. They know after my morning meeting, they often know who is struggling with something and fatigue and this and that. They can watch training because they have a live stream to training because we have nothing, we have no secrets from each other. So they watch me and my staff at work, they watch the players at work all the time, which I think is amazing when you have, you can, again, you know, you can look at this in like a big brother way which is wrong, or you can look at it like, no, there's people that are really invested. They want to see everything. They're desperate for us to win. So, yeah, it ranks at the very top of what I've seen. 
it ranks at the very, very top. Many times you have like, you know, the, the staff, the manager and assistant manager, coaches asking like, we need this, we need that. And then meeting like a wall of resistance sometimes, you know, then I've seen a scenario where this one wants to sign a certain player. The manager doesn't agree with that one. And then you have the uncomfortable, all these things I've seen, which are really common, conflict and uh, different agendas. None of that. We have like desperate to win across the board, desperate to win and a, and a keen eye on what we have in the building uh, and a keen eye on what we could potentially bring in to strengthen what we have. For me is like the best possible. And then uh, another player I wanted to highlight for his performances in recent weeks is uh, John Bostock. Um, obviously, we knew um, the sort of the experience and the quality he was going to bring, but he's also shown that threat in the forward areas in recent weeks. I think it's two, uh, five assists in two games now. Just how important has he been in the attacking areas where he might not be known for that? Well, I think that, you know, first of all, I think John began his career more, you know, much more happy to be like, you know, a, an attacking option, but um, over his course of his career, you know, he's a powerful guy, very impressive. So people will look and think, okay, he can help us to 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 defend maybe more deeper. And then they see the range of passing, and many teams play like these more raking passes that traditionally you would see from like your deep midfield player. But um, some of those things are not completely relevant to us. You know, look at. Matty Palmer, when he plays deep, is like he's like a ball machine. Just the ball just fires out of him non-stop, like one of him, you know, like you load up the machine in tennis and it just fires the ball out non-stop. He's like Matty Palmer, but occasionally he needs to open up more range. But you know, it's not vital that you can smash the ball around left, right, everywhere. Um, but you know, when you see John in the final third, he's so such a dangerous player and he has so much quality. And I think we're yet to see how lethal he can be inside the box finishing. So I think when you you know when you have a skill set like John, then for me is I'm able to fit him into different positions and to be equally effective in, in all different positions. And then uh, just finally from me, looking ahead to uh, Dagenham this weekend, you had Joel Taylor um, back in the squad um, in midweek. Um, has he, you know, having spent some time over there, uh, has he helped with preparations this weekend at all? Um we, we try to be careful with that because, um, you know, things can change between between the time he was there and now. So, um, yeah, we try to be careful with that. We, tr we try to, like, review the, the recent games and see exactly where they are. Often teams, you know, they, have a, they change quite a lot in a short space of time. Some teams will change a formation, players play in different positions, or they hit a really good form or connections between players that weren't there before. So not not so much, but uh, we try to just really watch the most recent performances and see where they're at in the current state.